Thomas and the Blue Hedgehog. It was a beautiful morning on the island of Sodor. All the engines on the Fat Controller's railway were working as usual. Edward and Oliver were shunting trucks in the yard. Gordon, James and Henry were taking the express coaches. Percy takes the mail train. And Thomas runs along his branch line with Annie and Clarabel. One day at Tidmouth Station, Thomas was waiting to pick up his passengers from Bertie the bus. As he waited, he whistled a little too. Just then, Bertie came up to Thomas with a honk. There's your passengers, Thomas. Oh, thanks, Bertie. As Thomas waited for the passengers to board on his coaches, he noticed Percy and Edward talking to each other. But he couldn't figure out what they're talking about. And just as he was about to ask them what they're talking about, Donald and Douglas came up next to him. Ah, Thomas! Just the wee engine we was looking for. Aye, that's right, Dougie. Oh, hey, Donald and Douglas. What's up? we we'll tell you what's up. We've seen posters about a fast blue hedgehog. Aye, it said something about being famous in Japan or something. This was making Thomas really confused. A fast blue hedgehog? He was still surprised about Edward and Percy, and now he had two puzzles to sort out. The god blew his whistle, which made Thomas jump. Oh, sorry, can't stop. Got to see a coach about a train. The Fat Controller was enjoying an ice bun when he heard knocking on his door. Yes, come in. It was the station master, and he had a newspaper in his hands. You're gonna want to read this, sir. What's this? Sega of Japan's mascot, Sonic the Hedgehog, becomes famous after its video game release. Huh. And here I thought Thomas, Edward and Gorn were the only blue engines. Thank you.